huge craters. It was like walking up a sand dune. The surface kept collapsing beneath it. Craters. It was like walking up a sand dune. The surface kept collapsing beneath us. Uh, of course, you think you've traveled. The land should be southwest of your position. Copy. Got it. Uh, turn right. Watch the crater. Oh. With a limited supply of oxygen, water. Up. 
It looked like a star on the horizon. Pulled over next to it, looked like this maneuver here. See the little vehicle? That's the nine minutes in the shade for 45 minutes while it's in the sunlight. Solar panels turn to keep perpendicular to the sun. Cosmonaut Belgium here in the Material Science Research Lab. I have an experiment. I'm setting up the hardware. It is absolutely real when we're spending a long time in microgravity. For example, here in my hip, you know, the big finger bone comes into the pelvis. I have 15% bone density, a lot of pressure there. You can see my uh, pulse coming up here. Every Saturday morning, we have, we have an annual physical. So we play doctor and patient once a year when you go to a doctor and uh, did blood samples, the urine samples, did the chemistry with all of that data and with the, uh, I gotta move on. Here's Space Shuttle Atlantis bringing my replacement, Jerry Leninger up, we're gonna hand over and then we didn't have to jump back on the shuttle and come back home. Here's the doctor. Now we're docked looking out of a station window at the space shuttle. Uh, back in the back end of the space shuttle, it's a big movie van. By the way, it looked just like this on that shuttle that's up there right now. Uh, here we're moving 5,000 pounds of Jerry supplies in the vehicle. Marsha Ivins here was kind of, Jerry, hey Jerry, bye bye, I have to the Russians. John, you better get on board. We're out of here. Hatch is closed and we're going to shut the hatch back off. I want you to focus on that light blue line right there. That's our blue skin on the environment. I'll just tell you, as human beings, you need to know that it's thin. And as human beings, we back our space shuttle away, set it up to a Dior return over to Australia one hour later, eventually slow down, roll out on final approach here, put the gear down. This vehicle's about the size of a 737. You know, you can look at the mock-up over there. Uh, beautiful space vehicle. As I see it here, I'll just tell you, I salute the engineering capability in our country. A, that built and designed this vehicle, and two, all the technical people here at Kennedy have worked so hard to fly these vehicles. I mean, it is just it's incredible. In those craters, it was like walking up the sand dune. The surface kept collapsing. In those craters, it was like walking up a sand dune. The surface kept collapsing beneath us.